Hey, this is Russell Peters, and uh, you're watching Comedy Matters. If you're looking for porno, you're in the wrong space. This is Jeffrey Gurian for Comedy Matters, and I'm here in this amazing home of one of the most amazing comics that I've ever seen, Russell Peters. What's up, Russell? Hello, uh, Laughing Ma Comedy Matters or Laughing Matters? Comedy Matters. You know, Laughing Matters too, but Comedy Matters is way more important. Absolutely. So look, and this is Russell's immense TV. I don't even know if I could fit it's it on the screen. Room. So it's a screen? Yeah, so it's a screen, and what is it, like 100 inch? 100 and what is it? 120 inch. 120 inch. 120 inch TV, it's sick like the rest of the house. The house is amazing. How many bedrooms? Four bedrooms and a pool house. A pool Soon house? Soon to be five bedrooms. Soon to be five. We're Soon to be fifth. five bedrooms. We're, we're adding you're, a fifth bedroom in the basement. You're adding on a bedroom, nice. So can I ask you about some of the things out here? here? Yeah, come on out. So this is, first, um, I saw this and I had to ask you about it because I had asked you what the largest audience was that you ever played to. Because when I saw you in New York, I went to see Russell at Madison Square Garden where he killed it, obviously. Two nights in a row, 6,000 people. So yeah, it was more than six and a half, right? Six, six and a half, 7,000, it was a lot. And I said to you, what's the biggest audience you ever had? And you're like, Vancouver, 18,000. Yeah. Now I come here and I see 29,000 people came out to see Russell. Well, that's Peter. over two nights in all fairness. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> in Vancouver, so Vancouver, it was 18,000 four nights in a row, right? It was 18,000 two nights in a row, so it was 36. 36? Okay. So really, uh, this is moot. Yeah, so it's a moot point, but, and it should be a gold mic anyway. It should be. Well, no, that's the actual mic I held. Really? Yeah, that's the actual mic I used that night, so that's why that's relevant. That's an amazing, can, can we get a shot of this? When, like, what was your first big break? Like, you started in 89, but like, when did you really start becoming Russell Peters, the Russell Peters that we know today? I think I found my stride with my material about, I would say around 11, 12 years in. And what made the Again, I think you need a 10 year incubation period for comedy. Is it really? I would yeah, say so. 10, ten years. To find your, your, your identity? Yeah, 10 like, years to be, really be able to do you on stage. In the beginning, you were just doing material? I was just doing material and, you know, I was getting by on personality or whatever. Mm -hmm. I actually found a video last night online of me in like, shit, I don't know what year it was. Uh, I'm thinking it must have been around 1994, 95 maybe at the very late, 94 I'm thinking, it's gotta be 94. Mm -hmm. Weird? It was weird to watch me because uh, I sucked. So different than you are now, right? Oh, very different. Were you doing there was a joke? hesitation and I was... You know, young and goofy and nervous, and you could sense all these things from it. But enough people liked you, is it, interestingly enough, enough people had to like you that you were able to go to the next level. Well, yeah, I guess for that time I was okay. Yeah, isn't but that... But when you watch it back, you go, my God, that was terrible. That's what's interesting. Mm -hmm. And Well, an artist is never really happy with where they are. A true artist always wants to improve. They always yeah, I always, I always the know level. there's room for improvement. Yeah, which is amazing. So in the early days, you were doing really like joke jokes. You were doing material. I was doing. It was just doing. Yeah, I was like writing jokes and I was giggling after each line, after yeah. I had delivered each punchline. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. And I'm I was, doing I, I do. I do material. I was wearing a hockey jersey, which I've yeah. never worn in my life. It had a big question mark on the front and the back. It said what? Uh -huh. I, I don't even. I don't even get it. I don't even know why I was wearing that. Wearing a baseball hat on stage. Really? It was pretty odd. Yeah.